took that this piece and made it their own. So, which I love. I'm very welcome to pick a poster. I want to pick a poster. I need to decorate my room. Really enjoying it. It's so much better than the physics. So, I really love it. It's actually exactly one week before my first exam. What I do right now, I write the key equations on my flashcards, which I've created myself. So it's like a white paper divided into eight pieces. I feel like more comfortable using a white paper because I always can take it in the library for free. Thanks for coming, guys. Appreciate the effort. <laughs> I cannot see anything apart from those lights and you actually cannot see finger which is pointing to those lights which is doesn't matter my first exam will contain only quantum mechanics and experimental method and experimental method is the most awful course that you can imagine we have like a booklet for it like this thick she will never open you don't understand it hence you don't know how to remember it he for example writes x x bar without the funny i asked a couple of students yesterday what does it mean and they answered it so it was like obvious for them but it was not obvious for me i'm sorry like i have first exam on saturday then my second exam going to be on tuesday then i have one more gap and my third exam and then three exams in a row after that i have five days before my final exam the way to remember this it's like squared so there should be something squared and if you try to cancel things so you're left with h1 squared but like you are not allowed to cancel those like it's five days before my exam and i have supervision like a proper supervision about things that we've covered in the last lecture on condensed matter <sighs> mom these two are compulsory right my friend. Yeah. How many other choices do you have? For papers. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Which ones do you like? None of them. <laughs> Even the ones you picked yourself? I hate economics. Right, yeah, I will. Like. <laughs> like. <laughs> And he's getting like five. <laughs> 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 Daniel says he'd rather sit the exam again at this point. And then Flossie goes, No, I wrote a sick essay about displacing phase transitions and their lack of relevance to cast oil in the water. Million years? Oh, well. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Uh, the construction of opang so that V out equals V in. And by buffer, does she mean the opang? Yeah, opang in a certain oh, way. Okay. And then you have to normalize. That ignores yeah. the quantity of the deal. So I was like, yeah. why did you think that you should make this? The energy of yeah. psi 2. But was it? Because yeah. it's the same wave function. But it's I like think it's 3 over 2. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, is it half space? Wrong. You just say that it turns like to the equations. classical limit. Yeah, that's what I said, even though my results do not show that. It, you know, I also written that the lecturer says f of expectation of x approximately equals to the expectation value of f, yeah. but my supervisor couldn't really understand you what. That? Yes, because like, yes, because I would say this is horrible. In your exam. Love it. <laughs> I just really honest, you know. <laughs> Even like Owen, really smart person, couldn't understand why he is doing that. One exam done. It's already 11 p.m. I felt so drained. So about my first exam, I prepared essays for those topics that came up. I knew that they would come up intuitively. The structure of this physics A paper is that you have section A where like really easy questions, and I messed up one. Then there is section B where you need to choose two calculation-based questions, and one of them was needed to use four simultaneous equations to eliminate four variables. I literally spent one hour. 30 minutes trying to solve those simultaneous equations while well, usually you should spend 30 minutes on one question then you have an essay question in section c or you have brief notes and then there was a section d where you also need to write an essay or you can choose to do a calculation question and i know that usually people and me including will do really stupid mistakes and hence will get really low mark on calculation questions so i've chosen another essay question to do i also written lots of stuff on that but it was the easiest paper among all of them to have tomorrow and after tomorrow to kind of prepare for a really crazy week. This is the notes that I've written for my today's exam. Opam, aliasing, and then also chi squared. So she died in London at 7 p.m. in the afternoon. But apparently a gardener who used to work in Hingston, so not in London, was walking in the graveyard next to this tomb. And okay. he saw her in the night, but he didn't know she was dead. And so he just went home and was like, oh, killed his wife, like, oh, I saw her. And then the next day people were like, she died in London at 7 p.m. And he saw her like at 10 p.m. I mean, it's not, it's cool though. Are you going to mention it? I want to mention it, but yeah.
pretty confident in electromagnetism can not matter but I'll still repeat them because I need to refresh what was in the notes that I've created at least and I'm not going to the past trapeze question I just need to memorize stuff rather than practice it so I went to my previous year supervisor in Costa because he had this period from 9 till 6 o'clock when he stays in Costa and people can just come and ask questions so I came and I asked group hearing questions he explained everything really clearly I really miss him and I wish that he was my supervisor this year then I had like a proper supervisor vision at 11 o'clock again it's about math because my next exam is math tomorrow get this perception that people work all the time during the exam season but i don't know how those people are doing that well last year i was doing that and i got crazy i would like to have a relaxed mind while doing the exam and i did maybe four this kind of things trying to revise waves and now i need to pack up because it's 11 o'clock For some reason, I woke up at 7. In addition to that, I couldn't fall asleep easily yesterday. So yeah, 5 hours sleep. At the back on the right hand side, please put your coat and your bags there. Any mobile phone? In math, it's always the case that you don't have enough time to write an exam, while in physics you have like time to think. I was spending for one question like 40 minutes and then in another question I was like, oh, I need to rush! And also I did half of the questions for four years series and then I'm, so I'm messing it up and I started doing a different question. Like yesterday I was going through the notes, there was a section where they write properties for your transforms. Then I thought, oh, they will never ask me to state those formulas. And obviously what they did ask, they ask write down without any proofs. And there was a question on minimization of the path. Like there was a horrible integral. I didn't have time to think which substitution would work. It is possible because otherwise they would not give us this. Like who? I need to change this course. What they're thinking about when they give 30 minutes per question, especially when the question is completely new and you need to try new strategies. Like, do they pretend that we are robots and we can just calculate straight away everything and we have everything in our mind? This exam should test our ability to think. And do we have time to think? No. All those people who are representative last year, I don't understand who are those people. They're rubbish people because they haven't changed anything because those people think that everything is perfect. I'm, I'm a math representative and when I'm complained this year on the math committee that the lecturer for group theory no one told this to us before like seriously seriously even though I got this information from the last year Fiznatsky this girl got this information from the year before people morning surprise 30th of May another day of revision I just didn't think I could move them fast enough so, alright. <laughs> so. so, I had my physics A paper 2 exam this morning and it was a reasonable paper. There was essay questions like PN junction, semiconductors. I wrote such a beautiful essay. Semiconductors have different types. I wrote a lot of stuff in a really separated paragraphs so with beautiful grammar, full commas and dots. And then at the end, my conclusion was semiconductors are really important to understand because they have many applications such as solar cells, laser, and it's important contribution to technological development to help us to develop environmentally friendly devices so that the world will not die from climate change. If the examiner is not aware, the more you hear about climate change, the more you realize how important it is. Also, I think the examiners made mistake in another part of the question. It was diffraction and the second slit is covered by a glass which changes its phase by pi by two. While the examiners were claiming that I supposed to get signed, the only way how you possible to get signed if the phase changes by pi after Cambridge exams, you feel so much tired compared to your A level exams, like your brain is stormed. Yes, thank you. So final thing for today, this amazing email from the physics department. In the email, we would like to make you aware and apologize for the typos. They call this typos, okay? They say the equation to be shown was indeed due to phase shift of pi, not pi by two. And like, I spent 30 minutes trying to understand what I did wrong and why this I factor in front of exponential? 8 o'clock, incredibly, I was able to wake up today at 6.20 to try to revise math because yesterday we had a revision session on physics and it's really not helpful because I didn't have time to revise math because of that supervision which lasted like for two hours. Lucy! <laughs> How are you? I'm feeling really nervous. <laughs> the 
paper was so horrible and so hard. After exams, I was cycling to my college thinking, I don't need anything, I don't want anything, I don't need friends, I don't need food. This is how depressing I feel when I cannot do a question. And I couldn't do any question fully. Grain boundary will be really low because they made it incredibly hard. Like some of the parts require lots of time to do it and it just costs 4 marks. They think, oh, if it's hard, it will give lots of marks and if it's easy, it will give little amount of marks. But can you think? Easy stuff also requires thinking and also requires time to write it down. Another reason of the exam is to consolidate your understanding. You actually don't have a possibility to apply your knowledge. You have a possibility to think how stupid I am because you cannot do a question. I'm really worried about the coffees that I take in every day in my exam term because this is standard 7th coffee today. I have finished my physics B exam. So what you wrote about the pressure thing, that the pressure rises from the sea, so it's dangerous to have a box. I wrote something stupid, but the thing is, then if the water decreases, so the boat doesn't float as high, so it makes also, I say that there will be a change of entropy, so it won't heat up. <laughs> True, but... Where are you? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> he's not my boyfriend. <laughs> I feel disgusted. Actually, you look really nice. Oh, thank you. I like your, how the hair grown, so... Really? Now they look okay, before they didn't. Oh my god, stop it. Well, no, because I decide to go to Aldi and then I go to straight to Aldi. Like, no, you message and then I'm willing to join you. Yeah, I'll message you and I'll be walking to Aldi when I message you. And then, and I'll, then you won't reply. But you're walking and I'm cycling. Yeah, but what if you're not? So we're remember? going to meet. <laughs> Caroline used to be a gymnast. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, I broke my spine. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, no. it used to be her passion. Please, you need to say the truth. I don't, I trust you. <laughs> I do judo, not gymnast. Wow, which well, that's you also got? a lie, Evelina. Brown belt. It's also a lie. No, I no, don't trust not, you. It's not a lie. I did karate. Oh, cool. Uh, yellow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like when you start? Yes. <laughs> I did half my black belt, but I never finished because wow. I broke my leg. And then I came to Cambridge. Of course I broke my of leg. Of course I broke my fucking leg. <laughs> <gasps> I'm so sensitive. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> so tired. Ow. Okay, I had a girl who was... I'm not a girl. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Cool, it's like it's an egg. Nice. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know. You can't do it on your own head. <laughs> In first class of my school, who I tickled until he was lying on until the floor. Until he died. <laughs> until he was lying <laughs> on the floor because he couldn't stand. Oh my god, not the police, but like someone wants to get some Guantanamo Bing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Putin yeah. uses torture. <laughs> yeah. <To> his wife? <laughs> we call it Kagabe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> people would introduce me to people and be like, this is Caroline, she's really cool. But then and then people don't talk to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I'm cool. And I was like, I'm um, cool. Uh, I still exist. <laughs> like, can That's you talk so to cool. me? <laughs> So about my physics B paper 1 exam, a couple of people came to me asking how was it and I said it was fine and then they looked at me like, are you serious? And they gone away. I mean, it's again about luck, what you've revised. It's all book work and it's not showing your understanding, extra knowledge, it's just like what you remembered from the lecture notes. Also, it's interesting fact, most of the physics students in third year and second year suffer and they regret doing physics and they would rather do math, material science, chemistry, engineering engineering, whatever, but like not physics, because physics doesn't care about education, this is so nice. You come to Cambridge thinking that education will be really good, but then you realize that the only good is research. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Mann. Ich war wohl. I seriously cannot believe that I just finished on this exam which I just took. They have repeated two questions from 2013. What's the point? I mean, this is great for me, but like most of the people are going to do those questions and they will remember the answers. Even the fact of spraying is not important. The fact of your friends coming is important. I went out and there were no one. And then even like people who are friends with in physics, of course, they were like sprayed and then they formed a group. Evelina was outside the group and then they started laughing, talking to each other and like, bye Evelina. I think it's quite funny, but I'm recording this video six weeks after my exam and I had a live video where I was opening the results and, but then I couldn't find that video so I need to record this final bit. I was believing that it's possible that my dream kind of will come true because I know that I study with people who are just not smart but like extremely extremely smart. There's a scaling happening because statistical majority of people is graded depending on what the smartest people got and I was believing that oh maybe a magic open our results and that will be a first but then this game happened. Overall, I got a middle to one. I was quite surprised also like for physics B, where they repeated two questions, where I would have thought that most of the people will get full marks. I got like 68%, which is the highest so far. For the math, which I was saying is the hardest paper, and I thought that there would be like some sort of rescaling, I got 60%, and it doesn't make sense. It's strange because I was asking people how they found the exam, and they were saying to me, yes, it was hard. Also, the physics report was released. They say that 70% of people got first, and then they rescale everything, and only 30% got first. This is like so mean. Of course, it's not about results, it's about the knowledge and experience that you gain. They need to understand that it's also motivation. When I came to university, I had so much enthusiasm and passion about my subject, and it decreased rapidly after I got my first year results. I think they should remove this rescaling because in other subjects, they don't do it. They grade you depending on how well you know the subject, how well you argue. Math 60%, physics A 64 something percent, physics B 68%, so overall I think it's like 64, which is by 1% greater than I got in my first year, but like I don't care. So there is no absolutely correlation between the amount of work in which you put and the results that you get.